Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today with my buddy John? We're here to review Midnight a movie called Special. Midnight Special. Shine your light on me. Oh, wait, no. That's how it's about. <laughs> <laughs> I never I never heard of this. I remember there was, a, there was a show on TV called Midnight Special, just like something like Don Kirchner's rock concert. I mean, it was going way back to the 60s, 70s. You know, and they showed, like, late night concerts of certain bands and stuff. Yeah, I don't think I ever heard about it, but how I found out about it, it's on my Google Pixel phone. You know, you get a news feed. Yeah. And, you know, it, whatever you like the subject matter, the most of it pops up those type of articles. And this was on, it popped up, and I don't even know what website it was or anything, but it said, hey, you might want to check out this uh, really good sci-fi under, you know, movie that's leaving Netflix on September 6th that not too many people know about. Mm. I never heard about it, but I never heard it either. it's got Michael Shannon, probably best, uh, well known as General Zod, yeah, and uh, Man of Steel. It's got Joel Edgerton who played um, Uncle Owen in the like the Star Wars Phantom Menace series of films. He also was a nice out and the kid that. <coughs> Oh no, he wasn't. Uh, Mike Shannon was also a nice out, and the kid that plays his son in this movie plays his son in Knives Out. Okay. Also has Kirsten Dunst from the Spider Man movies. It has actor and playwright um, Sam Shepard's been a lot of stuff, especially Gold, Cold, eh, Cold in July that yeah. Jason and I reviewed before. Yep. Uh, so it's got a great cast. When I read all that, I'm like, oh wow, this is per sounds pretty interesting, and it's like a Kind of like a superhero origin story, maybe, because there's a lot of a lot of questions unanswered. This movie it's kind of interesting, <laughs> yeah. Because uh, what uh, the premise is, Michael Shannon, his parents joined a cult when he was a kid, and yeah. so he grows up in this cult, <clears throat> and he has a son that seems to have powers, and his the mother's curse of dunce. They never explain what happened, but for two years, the leader of the cult was, uh, had adopted the kid. The kid. Hmm. And, uh, they think, he thinks the kids are safe here. Well, the government catches wind, and Adam Driver, also from the Star Wars movies, is sent to investigate because they, uh, they know a little bit about his powers. And, uh, so. Adam Driver grabs his son, and, and he, uh, with the help of his friend, played by Joel Edgerton, and it's also a great night. Yeah. They're on the run trying to get uh, the kid to a certain location, and meantime they're being chased by the cult and the government. So it's kind of interesting, you know, uh, there's more to it. Yeah. It's, it's a slow moving movie, yeah. if you don't like slow movies, so you probably won't like it, but if you're like Jason and I, where you're kind of patient. Yeah. Uh, it's good. It's just, you know, it's almost like a road trip movie yeah. where they're on a run and uh, it's, I thought it was pretty good. It's yeah, I liked it. The guy that wrote and directed it also did the movie Mud with, um, who did I, what did I say his name was? Uh, <laughs> oh. All right, all right, all right. Oh, Matthew McConaughey. Yep, he did that. He did. My uh, name is Mud. Uh, not, <laughs> no, not the guy from Star Trek. Not the Primus song. Not the Primus song. And, yeah, uh, he did uh, Take Shelter with Michael Shannon. Yeah. He's going to be <clears throat> doing a third Quiet Place movie. Cool. So, uh, yeah, it's. I, so, after September 6th, will be gone. So, probably by the time you see this video, it'll be yeah. off Netflix. But look for it. It's got high ratings all around yeah. IMDb, Metacritic. I don't think most people Rotten. don't know about it. You know, but, yeah, and. It, it, yeah, it flew under radar. I might have heard about it, but then forgot about it. Yeah. It was just a low budget movie <clears throat> done by Warner Brothers. Yeah. It was only $18 million. Yeah. Still a lot of money for us, but I mean, you yeah, know. But for yeah. a Hollywood film. Yeah. yeah. Compared to the Marvel or DC superhero movies. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> there's just a lot that's unexplained. So it could almost be a setup to a series of movies or even a TV series. Yeah. But, uh, never did and i don't know if there's ever any plans to or if it's just a one-off but i thought it was a pretty good movie yeah yeah i liked it too i thought it was pretty decent i give it like a i give it a seven out of ten yeah so i guess that's it for me and my buddy john i like the scene where they have like the the it looked like fireworks and they start shooting to the thing and john, john mentioned uh loans the death of jody Vera. i go meteor shit <laughs> well it took me it took me about 
15 seconds for it to kick in or 10 say, oh yeah, meteor shit. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So, I hope you like this video, buddy, of uh, Midnight Special not to be fused with the, I think Wolfman Jack uh, did uh, host the original Midnight Special, I think. TV show? Yeah, it was like a late night TV show with like. Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember the station because Rod and John. Rod and Johnny. Oh, right well, right. Uh, bah, 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 that uh, Don Kirsten, I think I was NBC, I think. Then they, that might have been ABC Midnight Special, I don't know. So I hope you liked this video, buddy. Till next time, please. Take care, my legion. All right. Good.